Hey, this is Archie at C4 Defense. I'm here in Flat Rock, North Carolina with Greg Mooney. We're here at Coast St. Arms. Boomer and I traveled over here today. He, Greg is going to show us all about their line of innovative, brand new 1911s. And I, I can't begin to describe them. I'm just going to let Greg take it from here. Thanks, sir. Yeah, th thanks for both of you coming and, and visiting with us. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, first off, this has been about two years in the making, mm -hmm. you know, get to get to this point. A lot of it is a culmination of, what, 30 years in the shooting industry and accessories and knives and uh, uh, other products. But most recent past, you know, being Benchmade Knife Company for 14 years mm -hmm. and then Benelli USA and, and eventually at STI and <clears throat> really learned some really good niches about the modular, how a modular gun can work. Okay. And um, for the double stack, they, what they call the 2011. Yes. Um, yes. That, 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 that's their innovation. It's been around since, what, the early 90s? Mm -hmm. And um, what we went for is really a carry gun, not a competition gun, a, a carry gun. So you see all of ours in the three and a half to four and a quarter. And it's, it's modular the same way. Yeah, yeah, I would think the, the carry market would be, there's more people that carry a gun than then compete with a gun. Yeah. So it seems like it, to be a higher market. The, the, the last numbers I saw, <clears throat> excuse me, 17 and a half million carry permits in the country. And that's just permits. There's a lot of constitutional carry states. There's a lot yep. of people. So, yeah, yeah much but, bigger market. Uh, w w with the number of guns, 4 million handguns bought and sold every year, 17 million handgun permits. Uh, the other thing is that of that, as you know, with carry... People don't carry because they don't have confidence. And, and everybody who goes through a carry course, that's what you get beat on, mm -hmm. is, is that you need to un understand the liability and responsibility of carrying. Exactly. And when I feel this gun or this modular concept and how flat it shoots and how much more control you have, it just makes sense to have this in a carry gun as much as a competition gun, but this is the other, only other place where you're going to be rapid fire. Mm -hmm. If you're going to pull that gun out and use it, you want it to go bang, 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 and be as accurate as possible. Well, if it, in, like I say, in the unfortunate event something happens, it's going to be quick and it's going to be, it, it's, it's not going to last long, three to five seconds, three to five rounds, three to five yards. So. Yeah. You want it to work. Yep. And you want it to work quick. And not a lot of movement. No. You know, no. And, and as what I'm told is that in the heat of battle, the adrenaline, all major muscle groups go away. Or no, all fine motor skills go fine away. Fine motor skills. It's only major muscle groups. So this helps you get through that better because mm -hmm. of the, it's, the, it's more controlled shooting. So uh, like I say, that, that, that it happens that this modular concept, this modular concept um, in testing that was done in a, in a lab, the energy doesn't stay in the grip. On a full-size frame, the energy comes into the grip, stays in the grip, and then creates muzzle flip. Okay. With this modular uh, design, it just goes straight back. It doesn't have a chance to get into the grip. Okay. So what happens is, now it shoots more like a piston, back and forth, back and forth. So as you can imagine, it's not necessarily you know, your wrist management, it's more you know, your elbows are taking it, well, or yeah, you can you can absorb that recoil straight back much easier than you can if it if it's flipping up. Right. So that that's you know, and again, I would say going back to my history, you you take things like Benchmade, who who took uh, precision manufacturing and engineering and put out you know virtually a custom product at a mm -hmm. production level, production price points, and you get a super premium product for that's relatively affordable. It's oh, not yeah. twenty nine ninety five. But it's also not a thousand dollars. Exactly, exactly. And so then that went to Benelli, and you know all of Benelli's parts come down the line, and they're assembled. They pick them off the line, they assemble them, and they ship them. And that Benelli gun shoots and works flawlessly when you get it. Mm -hmm. And that's because of the precision to which they make parts and how they've engineered those parts. Exactly. And we get you know at STI learning about the double stack and how it works and um, the engineering behind that. Like I say, this is not like an STI. It's not like any other double stack. It's it's a kind of combination of all those companies put into one. Yes, yes. All, all your knowledge and all your experience have, have has brought you to this point. Right. So you know this. You know any one of these, but you take a. Good, By the way, we've cleared them all before we got out here. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything's so, safe. So, in in uh, traditional round top, traditional frame. This is an aluminum with a polymer grip. 
Um, we've done this in cement, um, uh, Cerakote Elite uh, cement color. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get into this one here in just a second. He went ahead and had this one done. What do you, you had this one it, done since you got it, back? Yeah, in, in, my, the, in our Cosin Cosin green. green. Yeah, so yeah. The, the guys wanted to make sure that I had a, had a gun I could promote as being one of ours. So, um, But uh, we also have a four and a quarter, a four and a quarter with... Um, with a full size grip, and this has just turned out to shoot like much better than anticipated. Mm -hmm. Just that much more weight, that much more length, you know, the bull barrel hanging out there. It's just really a uh, full size grip. I'm really amazed at how that extra, what, quarter of an inch between the commander and the officer length makes the difference, and that's why we built the, the, um, the, this full length on a three and a half inch gun. Now this one right here, we'll get some, we'll get some good shots of this one. This one is fascinating. Is, you say this one has a full length grip? Full length to full size and grip. And how long is a barrel? Three and a half. This is, this gun works well. So as a so. carry gun, very controllable. It's, you know, again, you're that extra quarter inch on the grip. So, um, and, and then the, the really last one we have up here is our tri-top and we built this because then we could take some weight out of it. Mm -hmm. We put our serrations, we have our chamfer down below, and we do that so on a full grip, you don't feel that slide. Okay, so the, so the tri-top, one of the benefits is it's, it's lighter weight than the round top. Correct. Okay, I was but trying to figure out what the difference weight without are. making it Swiss cheese. Okay. You know, a lot of times, that's what happens, you put a bunch of holes in it, and we didn't want that. We wanted to have as much classic, of, you know, keep the styling and still reduce some weight. Okay, yeah, because I was looking, I was, I, I didn't know the difference. I knew some of the things I liked. I really liked the rail right. a lot, and yeah. I liked that that squared off trigger guard, because it's a little more modern. It's one of the things that appealed to me about them, right. but I didn't know about the round top or the tri top. Now I see one of the benefits. Yeah. Okay. And, and so what we do is, again, using the concept of production custom, um, you know, we make that, that tactical frame in aluminum or steel. We make the, the, the traditional frame, aluminum or steel. The, we have the round trigger guard and the square trigger guard. We have the full length and the officer length. The, the idea is that it doesn't cost, a, most cases you build a gun one at a time. Okay. You know, you, you, you kit the gun, you build it one at a time. Even though I build 10 of them, I'm gonna kit them as a single kit, you know? And if that's the case, then our thought was, why don't we build it to the way you want it? You know, um, rather than you getting it and going, oh, okay, I'm gonna change the night sights. Uh, no, I gotta, I wanna get a, I don't know, different grip panels or, you know, the, just the things that you do to make it your personal gun. Because everybody has their own prejudices or their own desires, how their gun's gonna work for oh, them. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this concept was so that you tell us what you want, we've got all the parts sitting there, we configure it, um, uh, assemble it, Cerakote it to your spec, and ship it and uh, make the effort to do that in less than 10 days. Oh, wow. So I went on your website and I went on uh, and did a build for myself and you can pick your caliber between nine millimeter and 45. Correct. And you choose your frame material. If you go with 45, you have to go with a stainless steel for more dependability right. And, right. and reliability of the frame. Right. Um, you pick your slide top if you want round top or uh, the tri, tri top, uh, tri top. Yeah. you can choose your sights, uh, you can choose your, your, your trigger, uh, trigger, guard. trigger guard, you can choose your, your uh, color for your Cerakoting. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like a, you know, and on and on. It just mm -hmm. keeps going on and on for the different things they offer, from, you know, you guys offer. And the, the, the only real upgrades there, the, the, up, the price increases are aluminum to steel. Steel's yeah. just harder to make. So the steel is just a little bit more, but like you, you've got to go for what are you what are you going to use it for? Exactly. Do you want to shoot thousands and thousands of rounds at it per year, or are you going to do like you said, like we were talking before, a carry gun? You're going to shoot it a couple hundred rounds a month, and that's going to be your carry, carry gun, gun as a tool, right. as what you're what you're using when you're out there. It just depends on what you want to do. Exactly. Right. Exactly. But one of the big differences I noticed was as I was clicking through the options, there wasn't a you know, upcharge on every option. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of websites you go to, it's this much every time you change an option. Right. And yours wasn't like that. Right. You know, every time you clicked something, it was just, that was part of the offer. That was part of that, 
the way you're manufacturing that firearm. For some things, there was, like for the right. upgrade to steel Correct. and aluminum, which was ex is expected. Yeah. But for the most part, you're, you're staying in that same gun package. That, that, because what we really wanted to do is say, if it doesn't cost more to us, then why would it cost more? You know, if it's more expensive, then we do it. So the 17-4 stainless uh, slide, well, the raw material cost is twice as much just to start with. Yeah. And then the machining time takes longer. So, okay, that has to be it. We had to upgrade that. Yeah, you have to. That's Steel a, takes more fun. tooling, more wear and tear on the tooling. That takes that upgrade. The only other thing we upgrade on is sights. Yeah. Our tritium sights are the only upgrade. Yeah. Night sights are the only other upgrade. So it's really pretty cool that most guns are in the $1,400 range, and you add all those three upgrades. Yeah. Okay, you're at fifteen fifty or 1600 But you can't get over that. You know that we kept our range thirteen to sixteen hundred, and it's pretty clear what your how you spend I your mean, money. I mean, for a lot of people, is that a lot of money? Yes, but what you're getting for that money, you can't touch that anywhere else. That not at all. Yeah. And for and for something customizable, and, and like you said, all right, am I going to start off with this gun and then buy this, buy that? And some of it, if it has to be machined, you're going to be way over that price, Correct. way over it. Plus, it's modified. Yeah. yeah. And this is basically the way it comes to the manufacturer, which also helps for a carry gun, reduces liability. So. Yeah. The, the the other thing that we thought about is that that, so you have a three inch, a three and a half inch gun, and you've got a full size grip. You know, in theory, in talking to the customer, another reason to deal with consumer direct is that we get to talk to customers. We're building up the gun for them. What are you looking for and what are you going to do? I'm really torn. Well, in theory, we could make them a full, uh, on, a, on an officer length package, we could make them a, a separate full size grip with a trigger, uh, a mag catch, and a mainspring housing. So they could actually take three screws out, put the full length grip on, and for not that much more of an upcharge. See, now that's what I was going to ask you. Are you going to have other parts available in case they change their mind? Because that's one of the things, like the, the SIG P320 series, that's one of their main, um, I guess, selling points is the modular grip. Right. So you're going to offer these grips and, you, and possibly another package in the future if they wanted to change it? Yep, totally. So then, I mean, see, then you're not committed. You can, as your taste change, or you can experiment. Yeah, or you ended up buying another gun. You go, boy, I'd really love to have that. Or somebody buys it from, you know, they want to, they want to sell it. Oh. Well, somebody could call us and go, I just bought this from a guy. I'd, can you make this into a full size for me? Or I've got a full size on a on a three and a half gun. Can you make it an officer? No problem. We could oh. actually ship them the grip. Well, yeah, like they, they could put it on themselves. As we were looking, you said, you know, with with with. You don't have to be a gunsmith to change the grips. Right. With 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 uh, a good working knowledge of the firearm, anyone should be able to change these out. Yep. So that's so that's fantastic. Yep. That's amazing. Um, let's see. When, where are these going to be available, and when can people come check them out? Where can they come? shoot them or demo them or, or how, how do we get a hold of you? Yeah, so that, that, that's uh, coastandarms.com is the best place is you go there and contact us. What we've been doing is everybody we get in touch with, we ask for their zip code because if they're interested, we put their zip code in and that's going to drive we go to do demos. We are consumer direct, mostly because retail doesn't take a chance on a company like us. You know, that's the history of the industry. And so we're pretty much consumer direct. We do demos to let people try them out. We've had people buy them and because I'll pretty much tell them that if it's not what I said it was, you can ship it back to me, I'll give you your money back. See, that's that's unheard of. Yeah. That's another yeah. plus. There's, I mean, <laughs> who gets a money back guarantee in the firearms Fire. industry? No, no we're, we're, we're really cut. I, again, another person asked me at a recent show, how do I know you're going to stand behind these? And I said, well, because my name's here and my wife and I have started this business we're not going to do this as a one-hit wonder. You know, uh, the idea is to build a, a brand, and you only do that by delivering, like Benelli, like Benchmade, products that deliver, and then you back them up. Yeah, customer service is the key to, to all this, and, and you've been in the industry for a while, and you've got the experience to, to apply to this, so I, ha I have no doubt that you'll stand behind it. Yep. We, we, I just, on our website, because of the, the, that question you asked, we have Overwatch Defense, which is a local um, gun store retailer, great uh, business. They've been helping us a lot. They keep a couple guns in there all the time. 
uh, what we'll end up doing is uh, we rotate them out. He sold a, a few of them, so every time we put them in there as demonstrators to help build, have people order and make up their desired gun, they go, no, I'll take that one. So it's, we, have wow. to, we, can, we have to keep rotating the guns into them. But, um, you know, That's most a good of it, problem to have. It is. It <laughs> is. Uh, we're really thinking about creating, you know, kind of a couple of base guns so that we always have those, you know, kind of our Model A's. Boom, we've always got these available. Black round top, round trigger guard, three and a half inch. I guess as you, as you see what most people are, are going ahead and ordering, maybe you could produce those as a standard model yeah. and then still have the other options. Yeah, because it, I, I had somebody who, who said to me, there's just so many options to, to come with. And he used the example, I'm a Ford guy. I know I want a Ford truck, but on my new one, I want this and this. I want this package, but I want this and this. I don't want to go through that list of every single option. Mm -hmm. So there's some of that out there. And again, I've had a couple of guys just say, no, I'll take, send you the guns we had. They looked at them and go, okay, just that's the one I want. Mm -hmm. So, because they were familiar with the concept behind this modular frame, they were, they were totally bought in. So, um, you know, we're always making new ones just to keep testing it and seeing what new fun things we can do. Oh yeah, that's like like I was looking on your website. I think this one is on there, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Yep. And and this one right here, this is the one that caught my eye because it's got the more modern trigger guard, square trigger. It's right. got the the undercut and it's got the the rail. That one caught my eye. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know that I I, I may, and the and I didn't realize at the time that that cut down weight on the on the tri cut. So mm -hmm. this is a model that that I'm very interested in, and I don't know that I would have been able to to pick that out by looking at all the, the options until you see it in real life, and then it's, it's absolutely fantastic. But this one right here, this three and a half inch barrel with the full size grip, you know, just like I said, I like the modern one. This gun right here is very special. This one feels great in the hand. Don't let anybody tell you that it doesn't, even though it's, it doesn't have the rail, which is fine, and it's the, the traditional trigger guard. This gun feels amazing, so. I, I found two that I really like. So well, and we went hardcore towards square trigger guard tactical to begin with, and then it really got to be feedback was, um, you know, you can't find square trigger guard 1911 mag um, holsters, and it, now those there are some really good custom makers out there that are making them. They're great holsters, but they're uh, you know 150 or more, and so when you put this, when you show this gun. You say, wow, that's a traditional 1911. You have to get into it to say, wait a minute, that's a polymer grip and a... So, so that would fit into a, a traditional holster? Yep, absolutely. Okay. Well, when we go off air, I've got a name of a holster guy right down the road from you. Okay. Might be able to work out something. That'd be great. That'd be great. <laughs> uh, we are trying to you know, work as much with, uh, you know, North Carolina companies as we can. We like kind of keeping in the neighborhood and... That's one of the other things. I, I the, one of the other reasons I want to come over here because it's a North Carolina company. Yeah. Uh, Midnight Range. He pointed this out, and, and I knew when he called me on a Sunday, it was important because he, as soon as he left your booth, he called me and was raving about these, and everything he said was true. Okay. Everything he Good. said. Um, I'm going to ask you the million dollar question. Okay. When we were talking about sites, we talked about it off air. Have you thought? And what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask anyone out here that watches this video put a comment below as to if you would like to see this gun with a red dot on it and maybe what one you would like. Have you thought about this? A uh, lot of debate. I mean, as we've gotten out and done shows and talked to people since January, or early January, that is a big topic conversation. Which site, which, which cut should we put in it? And I've had a lot of good feedback, you know, because we machine these and prep them for the customer. We've had the debate, should we just have a standard optic available and boom, we do this cut, it's available to you. The other one is we just program in a lot of the top, most popular cuts and we just get ready and prep them. You know, so when they order them, it's your slide is prepped for it and ready to go. Yeah, probably a standard would be good and then maybe a, a list of ones you approve of. That, that, yeah, that we're ready to do all of them. Yeah. Well, and you could, it could be over time. Yeah. You know, if you said, okay, well, we've programmed three into the machine, and then every couple of weeks we got another couple that we've added, um, yeah. just keep adding to the list. But um, I, I think it's really important on that gun, especially today. Everybody want there's a lot of people who want it, uh, an optic on we're, it. We're in the middle of the red dot revolution, so people are going to be, they're going to ask you, they're probably going to email you, and they're going to ask you at shows. Like I said, 
comment below on one if you've used one for a 1911 what one would 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 fit the narrow slide of a of a of a 1911 what one is, seems to be the most popular so and we'll, great. We'll that, go back that'd and be watch great. that'd be great we'll get some feedback there you go all right and like i said i, I think we we covered all the facility um who's back there working right now wesley wesley okay. he's trying to stay out of the camera i think is oh <laughs> and who's your gunsmith over joel. there joel joel so they're over there working like crazy they're making these guns and uh they're machining the parts here we're getting these together and i i can say this is this shop is hey, one of the cleanest machine shops I've ever been in. But these guns are everything that I heard they were. Great. They look better in real life and they feel better. Like this one, like I said, I may have passed over this if I was looking at them online, but when you pick it up, this gun is, is spot on with a full size grip and the short barrel is absolutely wonderful. And then the more tactical side, the because you could put a light on it and the squared off trigger guard, the more modern look is, is great as well. So I've seen a lot of these and like I said, we will we'll go over we'll get some good shots of the the one with the cosaint green on it. So and I just want to thank you. Anything anything else we need just, to add? Just that you know we talked about it earlier that an aluminum frame, you know, round top, fully loaded, the gun is twenty seven and a half ounces. So again, normally with lighter weight, gun gets squirrely. The way these shoot, they shoot so flat, you can have a lightweight gun that really is controllable. And that's what you said before. You were telling me um, when you had people choose the guns in rapid fire. Tell me, tell me about that. Yeah, so in our demo, we give a traditional 1911 that's the same officer size with, uh, with our uh, aluminum with polymer grip. And the, most people, I put some rounds in so they can shoot them and get used to them. And then they, they, they always have an opinion, they ask some questions, and then I put three rounds in each gun and go, okay, now what I'm gonna ask you to do is unload those as fast as you're comfortable. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, put it down, uh, drop the mag, put it down, do the other one. And invariably, they're more uh, accurate with our gun because it's not moving around as much, and it's those three shots, bang, bang, bang. And if it's a closer, closer tighter group, now, if you're a really good shooter, it's this, and then it goes to this. If you're a you know, normal everyday shooter, it's this, and it goes to it, this. It doesn't matter as long as there's an improvement. It's an improvement. If, if you're going from here to here, that's an improvement, and that's what you want. Yep. You don't want to go the other way. Right, and um, that, that's how most people are bought in. They, at that point, when they see that, they oh, I totally get it now. And, and one thing I, th I think we forgot to mention is kind of in this, we can get a little close up of this here in a second, but this kind of shows the, the difference where we talk about the, the polymer grip, but there's the polymer grip and there is the, is the frame and how it slides on there. And this is why this gun works the way it does. We'll, we'll get some, some better shots of that, but that's a little bit more about how it goes together. So. Um, yeah, we're, we're very interested in coming back over for a demo. We appreciate you having us over here today. Yeah. And they find you at, is it, you say, CoseArms.com? Right. All right. And uh, like I said, this is Sarge here at C4 Defense, here with Greg and Boomer, Flat Rock, North Carolina, Cose Arms. Remember to subscribe, comment, like, hit that notification icon if you're a subscriber. See you on the range.